Thank you, Mr. President. Um, in the light of a very busy news week, a lot of people would like to get to the bottom of a couple of things, give you a chance to go on record here. Did you at any time urge former FBI Director James Comey in any way, shape, or form to close or to back down the investigation into Michael Flynn? And also, as you look no. back. No, no. Next question. Next question. As you look back over the past six months or year, um, have you had any recollection where you've wondered if anything you have done has been something that might be worthy of criminal charges in these investigations or impeachment, as some on the left are implying? I think it's totally ridiculous. Everybody thinks so. And again, we have to get back to uh, working our country properly so that we can take care of the problems that we have. We have plenty of problems. Uh, we've done a fantastic job. We have a tremendous group of people, millions and millions of people out there that are looking at what you had just said and said, what are they doing? Uh, Director Comey was very unpopular with most people. I actually thought when I made that decision, and I also got a very, very strong recommendation, as you know, from uh, the Deputy Attorney General, uh, Rod Rosenstein. But when I made that decision, I actually thought that it would be a bipartisan decision, because you look at all of the people on the Democratic side, uh, not only the Republican side, that were saying such terrible things about Director Comey. Then he had the very poor performance on Wednesday. That was a poor, poor performance. So poor, in fact, that I believe, and you'd have to ask him, because I don't like to speak for other people, but I believe that's why uh, the Deputy Attorney General went out and uh, wrote his very, very strong letter. Uh, and then, on top of that, after the Wednesday performance by Director Comey, you had a person come and have to readjust the record, which many people have never seen before, because there were misstatements made. And I thought that was something that was terrible. We need a great director of the FBI. I cherish the FBI. It's special. All over the world, no matter where you go, the FBI is special. The FBI has not had that special reputation with what happened in the campaign, what happened with respect to the Clinton campaign, and even, you could say, directly or indirectly, with respect to the much more successful Trump campaign. We're going to have a director who's going to be outstanding. I'll be announcing that director very soon, and I look forward to doing it. I think the people in the FBI will be very, very very, very thrilled. And just in concluding, uh, we look forward to getting this whole situation behind us so that when we uh, go for the jobs, we go for the strong military, when we go for all of the things that we've been pushing so hard and so successfully, including health care, because Obamacare is collapsing. It's dead. It's gone. There's nothing to compare anything to because we don't have health care in this country. You just look at what's happening. Aetna just pulled out. Other insurance companies are pulling out. We don't have health care. Obamacare is a fallacy. It's gone. We need health care. We need to cut taxes. We're going to cut taxes. If I get what I want, it'll be the biggest tax cut in the history of our nation. And that's what I want. It's going to bring back companies. It's going to bring back jobs. We lost so many jobs and so many companies to countries that are not so far from you, Mr. President. They're very close to you, actually, and to many other places throughout the world. We're going to change that. We're going to have expansion. We already do. You look at what's happening with Ford and with General Motors in Michigan and Ohio. You look at the tremendous number of jobs that are being announced in so many different fields. Uh, that's what I'm proud of, and that's what we want to focus our energy on. The other is uh, something I can only tell you. There was no uh, collusion. And everybody, even my enemies, have said there is no collusion. So we want to get back and keep on the track that we're on, because the track that we're on is record-setting. And that's what we want to do, is we want to break very positive records. Thank you. You could ask a question. Ricardo, uh, 